Hi everybody, it's Friday, August 11th, 2017, and it's time for an early August garden tour. Come on in. All right, we're gonna do things a little bit differently this time. I'm gonna put you right in the middle of the garden and we're just gonna zoom around and I'm actually gonna collect some produce because it's that time of the year. And I want to show off this gardener's toolbox. Uh, my buddy Chris, the B&O Craftsman from that YouTube channel, he ended up making this as a gift to me and it's beautiful and wonderful and I love it. So we're gonna fill it up with some vegetables. Over in this direction, as you can see, the ground cherries are everywhere and they're gonna start dropping in probably another week um, but some of them are ready to go now so I'm gonna go harvest some As for the rest of the garden over here, obviously the strawberry planters at the end of this bench hasn't had any motion in there in quite some time. And you can see the ground has gotten quite confluent. You know, I spaced things out way more this year and things still grow into the space. I'm <laughs> just flabbergasted. So I'm walking through plants instead of on paths that I had planned, but that's okay. Um, over here are the raspberries. Now, let's just take a moment and I'll zoom in now stop and just watch the things that are flying bees i have so many bees that's because the next round of raspberries are being pollinated uh they're going to be ready very soon at the end of this month beginning of next month for certain but something that's ready right now take a look at these yeah spaghetti squash so in the haven of gourds the spaghetti squash are ready to go, or at least some of them. So I'm going to walk through, see what I can find, and for sure harvest this one. All right, uh, you know, there's some pretty good, nicely sized ones. The only one that was to the yellow color that I like was this one, so I only picked one today. But another week, I'll be able to pick, I think, two more. That's great. There are a ton of them in there. And so this is the old trellis where the cucumbers were supposed to be. Underneath that is the only pumpkin that I can see that's uh, decided to form. And it's huge. It's already bigger than a basketball. Um, so if that's the only pumpkin that's growing, I know you can't see it. It's going to be a big pumpkin. Um, moving around, let's see. Zooming back here, you see these taller, different looking ones there. Those are actually sunflowers. I planted them way late, like in the middle of June, just to see what would happen. So they're coming along. Um, over here we got more tomatoes. There's the wonderful red planter that we made a while back. Uh, tomatoes are doing okay. I might be able to pick one or two. Um, let's go check. Yeah, the tomatoes are still mostly green. I was able to get this cute little red baby, and I'm gonna probably fry that up in an omelet. Um, let's go for a ride. <laughs> Flying away. So there, I just wanted to show you the gourds because that's that's the amazing thing. They are all around. So I'm getting cute little. This is a butternut squash. The ghost of butternut squash future. Uh, what else do we got over here? I think there was another one that I almost stepped on over here. No, well, I mean you, you get the gist. They're forming left and right. I mean, flowers capping off. And then, look at my tiny little eggplants. Should probably thin them out. And the zooks, like this one has a bunch of flowers, but I already took two plants off of it. And this one over here, I've got one nice one growing in there, and then a little baby just to the side of it. So that's nice. But like, okay, so the gourds have really taken over. This one is all the way over to the fence and beyond into the neighbor's fence. Aren't they lucky? <laughs> like, okay, so these are here. I'm certain this is a butternut next to an ornamental, two gross ornamentals next to each other. Um, some nice looking tomatoes, you know, garden's coming along. It's that time of year. <sighs> Anyways, let's put you back where you belong. Do, 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 do. 
Okay. <sighs> Over here. Yeah, I have not weeded this. Um, I just decided to forget about it. Uh, I laid down cardboard over here on the path and that's been handy. I let the salad go, like the le let leafy greens, because I just don't care about it anymore. The kale is flawless um, and a lot of good peppers. So I'm gonna pick some peppers. All right, so there are about 20 peppers in there, um, but I'm gonna let them go until they're at least the size of my fist. I did pull two jalapeno peppers, or as we say in Wisconsin, jalapeno. We don't actually say that. And then I picked up some kale. I've been um, slicing this up into omelets, and it's pretty tasty. Nom, 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 nom. Do, do, do. Over into the section of celery and Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. Take a look. The celery's got some going at it yet, but Brussels sprouts are coming along. This is how they look, in case you've never seen Brussels sprouts grow up before. Um, gotta wait for these to be about three times as tall as they are, and then I pick them. And then we've got like, here, here's a lovely head of cauliflower that I'm going to pick. And look at the weeds in this section are ground cherries. Isn't that ridiculous? Also normal weeds, but that's a different point. Let's put you back on your homemade tripod. Yeah, I got one good head out of that. We'll show you in a second. And then lastly, as we come to the end here, are the beans. The beans, they're a magical fruit. So we're going to just pick a few of them. I picked them like two days ago, so there's not many left in there. Um, but since it's just me for the next two days, Bridget is away, I'm gonna pick a handful and uh, steam them for supper. I got a handful, that was more than enough for me. Some nice green and purple pole beans. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, I like them. We'll add them on this side. Perfect. Okay, let's go check out our harvest. All right, look at that. So, as promised, here's the harvest. We have a delectable spaghetti squash. The first one is gonna go to my mother because she loves them and the reason I planted that particular plant in particular was for her. Got a great head of cauliflower. Yes, I know it's a little bit yellow. It's okay, I didn't blanch it fine. It tastes delicious. I just have to soak it in some salty water for half an hour in case there's any uh, worms and stuff in there and they come right out and then I cook it. Yum. It's a nice handful of beans of all colors. Actually just of colors purple and green. And my jalapeno. And my little tomato and my kale. And then my little uh, ground cherries in the corner. Another couple weeks they'll be ready to go. This is what a ground cherry looks like. For those of you unfamiliar with them. You see they've got this nice light yellow color to them and they're amazing just take my word for it okay that about does it let me pop up to say hello and goodbye thanks for watching happy gardening hey guys thanks for taking the time to watch this video if you're new go ahead and subscribe right away and hit that notification bell so you never miss another midwest man mountain video if you like this you'll like either of these and thanks to my patreons for making things possible until next time bye